think I made a dog bark. That's supposed to be a funny joke. <clears throat> Next! The rules are so relaxed. There's literally no rules. She's like, oh yeah, that's my way, that's my outfit. Yeah, that goes, you know, that goes with it. <laughs> Honestly, dresses all the way. Is there a hashtag? That's how we roll. Let's just read my notes really quick. Hold on. Okay. It's just a small glass of vodka to keep me going. Hello fellow fabric collectors and sewing enthusiasts, you are on a sloth in the orchids wavelengths today and we're going to be talking about Frugal Frocks 2021 challenge. If you haven't heard about it, shame on you. Everybody's talking about it, everybody's planning it, everybody is thinking about what they're going to make. So today I'm going to talk to you about my plans and God knows I love making plans. If you have been following my channel, all I do is making plans. Anyway, this challenge is held by Sam of Frugalissima and Ruan of the Yorkshire Sew Girl. I'm going to put the links onto the channels and their Instagram accounts below. Because if you want to take part and you do want to take part in this challenge, trust me, you need to tag them in your final make. Frugal Frocks is a super fun challenge for everybody to get involved in and it's been held by Sam and Ruan on Instagram and it's free and everybody is very welcome to enter. We have over 40 vloggers posting a vlog every day to inspire you, give you ideas and cheer you on with your makes and there will be prizes. Oh my god, they're so good. We had a lovely, lovely Helen from Stitch Rip Repeats giving her thoughts on Frugal Frocks challenge yesterday and tomorrow lovely Killy from Voice of a Creative is taking over from me so please go check them out and also everybody else who's done their videos um, there is a playlist I believe on YouTube again please check in my notes below I will be popping all the links down there for you all you need to do is just look Okay, so on to the rules. Rule number one, pick a free pattern. You have to get a free pattern either from the internet or somebody's giving you a present or you got a free pattern with a magazine or you can even draft your own. This is how easy it is to enter. So you pick a pattern that didn't cost you anything. Rule number two, choose fabric from your stash. Don't go buying. Don't go spending money. There's a reason it's called frugal frocks. You got to be frugal about it. You got to not spend anything. You got to shop your stash, dig out something amazing. I know you've got some amazing stuff in there, you guys. And I can't wait to see you use those fabrics. So rule number three, you have to make your free pattern with your free fabric into dress during the month of March. So you have plenty of time to do this. Rule number four, you have to review your final make strictly on the 31st of March, not before, not after. You have to do the big review on the 31st of March. When you do that, you have to go on Instagram because it's been judged on Instagram. You have to tag Sam at Frugalissima and you have to tag Ruan at the Yorkshire Sir Girl. And you also don't forget to tag hashtag Frugal Frocks 2021 and you're on to win some prizes. Among the prizes there will be some gift cards, there will be some free patterns, there will be some money towards fabric, there will be cash prizes. There's so much going on there. Honestly you want to be in this competition and you know what even if we don't win anything we just have fun making stuff, right? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what I said. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a nice. I've, I've never read of. I've never read of paper before. 
Okay, challenge, blah, 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 blah. When you post your gorgeous makes. Now, this offer is only valid for the UK sewist. Lovely Sam has secured a nice print and deal for us here with 20% off your print at Fabricates. Again, the link will be below. When you put your order through, make sure you use the discount FF2021 and make sure that you have at least one free pattern in there, but apparently you can chuck in some other patterns as well, as long as it's one order per one person during March only. I think it's a cracking deal. I think you should all take advantage of that. Why not? We do love uh, frugal printing as well, don't we, Sam? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen everybody's video so far and we had all sorts of topics covered. Um, we had size inclusivity, we have maternity, we have sewer 50. But today I'm going to advocate for a dress. You've heard me. I think we don't wear dresses often enough. I don't think we give dresses the credit they deserve. Under one of my vlogs, somebody once commented, um, some lovely lady and she said, I wish I could wear a dress, but I'm afraid they don't suit me. And that literally made me really, really sad. And I don't know why would somebody think that. I think dresses suit everybody as long as you choose the right design for your personality, for your taste, you know, for your for your lifestyle, um, you know, choose the colors that suit you, choose the lengths, you know, make it big, make it small, make it short, make it wide, make it flowy, make it tailored, make it whatever, make it what you want. Dresses are cool, you know. Some people might perceive them as old-fashioned or matronly even, you know, some people don't don't think they're cool. I think dresses are freaking badass. I think dresses are more badass than jeans. Just think about it. You throw on a dress, you put on the shoes, you're good to go. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now I've told you about the dresses, haven't I? Um, let's talk about what I'm thinking. I'm boring. I just went to one side. I went to Mood Society, um, which the side is far from boring. There's like literally hundreds of patterns in there. They're all free. Um, but I've decided to just stick with Mood, but I have a big variety of fabrics to show you. I have five dresses. They all different so for each dress I'll show you three fabrics that I could pick so in the end I'll pick one dress and one fabric so you'll be left guessing and wondering and just waiting impatiently ah oh, screw that just go and make your dresses don't wait for me make your own save yourself so size wise all these dresses will be within this size range from bust 32 and a half waist 24 and a half hip 34 and a half inches to bust 58 and a half waist 49 and a half and hip 63 inches all the dress patterns i'm about to tell you about are going to be within the size range so i'm gonna kick off with a gilia dress gilia dress is a sort of a bodycon color blocking stretchy dress in one of the versions on mood they made it top part of it in lace which was really nice so that tells you that you can use loads of different fabrics perhaps of similar colors or maybe even contrasting colors or you can even use your offcuts of your previous makes to use them up nicely and put them into your skirt pieces of the dress and also the top pieces of a dress. The advice in here to use grow grain ribbon um, to accentuate your waist and also design line um, on a front. You could make it smart, you can make it in black and put something really nice like um, decorative grow grain or any sort of ribbon really. It's your dress, just do what you want, be creative with it. So anyway, here are my three choices. Scuba number one. I think this is gorgeous. What do you think? Scuba number two. This is classy. I would make this in um, maybe midi length. 
with a long sleeve perhaps just lengthen the sleeve um, really gorgeous love this one this is like a stretch bubble crepe and then the third choice is <laughs> very subtle isn't it um, just like me <laughs> um, yeah so I think the fabric really speaks for itself I hope I didn't blind you because I'm a bit and if I did sorry so next up we have a citrus dress and the citrus dress in is, is a cute little I want to say bodycon dress it's like a stretchy dress I think um, this is a nice time of a year to wear that two and a half meters of knit fabric I'm saying two and a half meters that's um, you probably need less than that but they put in yards and then like I don't know they didn't separate it into sizes so if you're taller like me then you probably need two and a half meters you might need two meters for citrus dress these are my three choices cotton ponty it's lovely I say take this cotton ponty and then do self-covered buttons and perhaps even do them in the same color do them like a self fabric covered and that will be a little bit like a 60s vibe okay so that's that then I have this um, nice spongy like a um, chiffon how is this chiffon it's a thick as thick as my arm this one is like a textured crepe a stretch crepe it's quite thick um this is definitely going to be like a bodycon type of dress and i think if i were to make this dress i would probably have to go and find myself some metal buttons I think for me I would go with silver um, but for some other people maybe gold would be quite nice in a fabric like this and the last choice for citrus dress is this very cute like a polyester knit fabric again it's got texture and it's a beautiful color I really like it I think with this one some nice floral buttons maybe with floral design or some sort of maybe even like a glass buttons or something like that something sparkly would be quite cute um, so that's my third choice for citrus dress the next pattern I'm quite interested in is a vestia dress I hope I pronounced it right the vestia now this dress is like a velvet jacket with added fringe made of metal chain i think it looks nice i don't think how practical it would be if you were to go out that metal chain i mean it could be quite light but you don't know you just don't know you know until you spend hours trying to attach all the chain to the pockets and, and shoulder seams i think i would be safe to assume that I will probably use just a long fringe I would just go and find a long fringe somewhere and just get like I don't know four meters of it and use it for shoulder seams as it is um, on the pattern underneath the pocket seams and also maybe I could attach it to even the hem I don't know I just have to, to see how I feel about it so my three fabric choices for it are number one just the gorgeousness of this green velour velour <laughs> very pretty I think I would just go with the same color fringe you don't want to pick a different color with this one fabric number two hmm this is also stretch velour a stretch I want to call it stretch velvet even I don't know um a lovely fluidy fabric very pretty number three 
Now with this one, I think the background is um, black, so I would probably go either with silver fringe or black fringe. And I think maybe black would be a bit more like a dramatic, decadent, if you know what I'm saying. This dress would be something that you wear out with your girlfriends. It would look classy, but also very chic at the same time with high heels. Mwah. And the third choice for the vesture dress, vestia, vesture. I don't know, I've got this fabric. I think it could be cool, actually. It's like a stretch, coated, like a snake design, coated, stretch, polyester, something, polyester crepe, I wanna say, polyester, like a quite tight knit. It has a little bit of stretch in it. You tell me. And you know what? I never knew what to make out of this. And then I thought, you know what? This could actually be one of those dresses that I could make out of this fabric. Um, and I think for this one, I would go with a white fringe. Yeah. Or even silver fringe, like a light silver gray. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, so as we're moving on down my list of dresses, we're moving on now to warmer weather dresses. The two last dresses I have left are for lighter fabrics. So dress number four, Ursinia. Ursinia, 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 any of those names, Ursinia. I'm gonna go with Ursinia. I need to know who makes up those names. But the patterns are also beautiful, so it's okay. Okay, so Ursinia dress is a is a shirt dress top with a lovely flared high low hem that gives it a little bit of more flirtiness to the seriousness of the top. I think for Ursinia dress I would go for something cottony, like a cotton lawn like this one. What do you think? Yeah? This is a lovely cotton lawn. And fabric number two. I think it's poly cotton, but um, I absolutely love the color. I love the color of this. Um, I think with this one, um, I would actually put a couple of pockets um, and the stripe would be going in a different direction. I think it looks super cute when you do that. You change the stripe direction on your collar and your pockets and your cuffs and whatever little details do you have, you have in the dress. It just kind of makes the design stand out a little bit more. Just a cute, happy little summary print, this one. Okay. And the last one I've got here is another piece of cotton lawn. And it's the most gorgeous. I love this um, fabric. I think I should definitely make one. I should just use it this summer for, even if I don't use it for this dress. How about this? It's a gorgeous design, isn't it? So yeah, that's it. You you can totally make a lovely shirt dress out of this, and um, you know have your shirt part of a dress on top for your zoom calls and then you have that floaty lovely skirt down there for all the ventilation you know in a hot summer day working from home okay so the last dress is on the program today is um almost dress i'm looking at this dress and i'm seeing a wedding wedding guest and we all know what's going to happen after 
the lockdown's lifted and everybody's let out again oh my god the amount of wedding we're going to be attending is unbelievable <laughs> i think everybody should make an almost dress for uh their hooray we're out of lockdown wardrobe self-line bodice deep v cut back is there such a thing well have you seen Ulma's dress and flared skirt with long ruffle at the bottom I think it's very pretty so my first fabric choice is this viscose I think it's pretty cute Fabric number two is this viscose um, and I think I'm a little bit in love with it, just a little bit. To me it has this a vintage 50s look to it and it's just so absolutely gorgeous and I think what it is is just, I think it's just the leaves. <laughs> um, yeah, have a look. Let me just show you. How pretty is this? And then my third choice for this dress would be... Ooh... Hmm... What do you think? This is a viscose crepe, actually. This is a little bit... A little bit more substantial than viscose chalet. But, um... Oh, I just love this color. This is the only color yellow that I can actually wear. I think it's lovely. So yes, that's it then. Um, just remember this, with any of these patterns, you can always change things up. If you like the bodice, but you don't like the skirt, change the skirt. Draft your own circle skirt. Just take two free patterns, mix and match top and skirt. You know, change up the sleeves. Take off the sleeves. You know, depends on what you're making it for. Make the skirt shorter, make it longer, make the sleeves big, make them small, make them cup sleeves. You know, the world is your oyster. So just really quickly, the four rules, free pattern, fabric from your stash, make the dress during March, reveal the dress on the 31st of March, tag some of Frugalissima and Ruan from the Yorkshire Circle and Frugal Frocks 2021. And the most important thing is have fun and make something freaking amazing and also do you know what tag me in as well <laughs> go and follow me on instagram go and follow all our vloggers on instagram again i'll be leaving all the links down there below let me know what you think let me know which fabrics you like whether i inspired you you know whether i confused you further <laughs> if you have any questions do ask and go check out everybody else's vlogs and keep watching go make some nice stuff enter the competition and good luck bye